since we're in the midst of this uh, coronavirus situation, I felt it extremely necessary and important for Asiatics and the children of Israel to really get a clear understanding about what's going on. There's a lot of ideas about, well, this is happening because man created the virus in the laboratory uh, and, and God had nothing to do with it because man created this. Let me tell you something. Man ain't create nothing without the creator allowing man to create the thing, giving him the ideas and the uh, um, tools with which to create a particular thing. So don't be mistaken. Don't be deceived by men telling you that it was created in a, in a laboratory. I could show you where God said he was going to use the earth to destroy this man. So anything in the earth can be used by God to destroy the man. So what you think? God gonna actually come and 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 and, and show himself and pick this stuff up and, and, and go in a laboratory and create the thing and show you how he did the thing. God always uses man or some other spirit, for the lack of a better term, to create the things that God wants to create. He always operates through his spirit. He's not doing any work. Currently he's not doing any work anyway. I, I clearly expressed that in one of my previous videos, but but anyway, without further to do, I wanted to show a few things that's going on as far as this uh, coronavirus is concerned, and and show you the uh, the truth and the definition of particular things are concerned. Now I enlisted my sister Yafa Bay to uh, help with this process, and she's making some very important statements and. And here's one of them. You're being treated the same by all these Europeans. They're all the same little family that's dying off. And they're not going to continue to live unless we keep letting them continue to live. And they will continue to live as long as we keep calling on them to save us. Because we keep calling on Jesus, Zeus, the Pope. Okay, now what was I going with? All right, so that should be clear. Uh, she talked about in other parts of this video, uh, Asiatics are superconductors with melanin and this and that and that. In order to, for the Europeans' world to, to, to be manifest, they have to run it through the Asiatics and that type of thing. I'm not going through all of that right now. I just want to show you particular points about this. Because when you look at what's going on with the coronavirus, it's the Europeans that's being drastically affected by this thing. So when you look at them being... Uh, dying off and this would have happened long ago if it wasn't for Asiatics always trying to keep master's house from burning down you know they used to have a song that said the roof the roof the roof is on fire we don't need the water let the MF burn but Asiatics always trying to put out well master our house is on fire NASA, we got to put this file and, and, and save our house. See, Negroes, blacks and colors, always want to save master's house. They don't, they don't want the party to end until they get their piece of the pie. You know, they want their BMW in the driveway and their, uh, you know, house up on the hill and a white picket fence and all this nonsense that they program you to think is the American dream, right? But the American dream is exactly that. It's a dream. And this dream is being made manifest by Asiatics. There's some other things I want to deal with you on. And this, the, main, the main point about this particular uh, presentation, if you will, is uh, dealing with the fact about the generations of Adam, which I dealt with in some of my previous videos. And uh, this is in, can be found in... Genesis chapter 5 and verse 2 where it says male and female. Hold on a second. Now you should be able to see it. Where it says male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Right? It said this is the book of the generations of Adam. So we need to find out who this Adam is. 
because it's talking about the generations of Adam and the day that God created man. So this is basically saying that man and Adam is the same one. Okay. So uh, Sister Yafa Bay is going to help express some of this. Check it out. This point. Somebody asked me to go click. Adam. 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 Is anybody there? Yes. yes. What number is the word Adam? Three. Three. It's on the far right. That's exactly right. Turn to the turn through the pages until you get to the Hebrew dictionary of the concordance. Not the regular Bible. The Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. And you'll know because you'll get past, you'll be past this list of words in alphabetical order. And then you'll get to all the words that are in numeric order under Hebrew, and you'll know they're Hebrew because the numbers will not be italicized. Once you get to the numbered words that are not italicized, turn to word 120. Because these brothers that tell my sisters that you're the man, I'm the man, you're a woman, you came from my rib, I'm Adam. Adam came first, you came from me. First of all, I don't know any man on earth that spit any woman from his rib, unless they're talking about the one in the crotch area. And Adam... Okay, this is what she's uh, directing the class to look up. In Strong's Con Concordance, which I have on the screen, She's looking up word number 120, which is Adam, all right? And then it's talking about Adam is man, comma, mankind. And that's exactly correct, okay? But uh, Sister Yaffa, she errs in some of the things that she says uh, in this presentation, but the most part, for the most part, she's correct. But Adam is man and mankind. Okay, now we're going to find out who Adam is. Adam, by definition, did not come first. Mm. Oh. Eve came first. <laughs> <laughs> who found word 120? Read to me what word 120 says, sister in the back with the glasses, and try to say it loud so it can be on the, on the tape. Okay, Adam from 119. A human being. Ruddy. 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 A human being. A human being. All right, let's find. They, they're talking about Adam being ruddy. Ruddy means red. Here we go right here. Strong's exhaustive concordance. Ruddy. A human being. Okay. An individual or the species mankind. Stop. Adam is ruddy. He is a human being from the species mankind. Okay. From the species, an individual or the species mankind. So that is Adam. All right. That's what they're talking about. All right. We are not ruddy. We're not human beings, and we're not. Oh, let me add this. They're talking about the fact that Asiatics are not ruddy. Ruddy is a term that means red. Okay, just for clarification. Mankind. That's why when Neil Armstrong is supposed to have stepped foot on the moon and said. This is a small step for man and a giant leap for mankind. He's talking about two totally different species. You're man. They're a kind of man. They're mankind. You're not mankind. You're not of mankind. You're not from man. This is where she airs at. Um, Adam, as we read right up here, Adam is man, comma, mankind. 
Adam is man, mankind. Asiatics, Moors, and the like are not man. And I'm going to show you this, but I want to uh, let her finish her presentation. Mankind, don't let anybody twist you up with that. And I'm going to show you how. Keep going, sis. Uh, etc. And then it says there's a, uh, a semicolon and it says times another plus hypocrite. Adam is a hypocrite. Plus common sort. Adam is a common sort. And then there's an ex low man. He's a low man. And then in parentheses it has mean. He's a mean person. Low man. Of low degree. Mean. Of low degree. Of low degree. Ooh. That's Adam. It comes from word number 119. Look up 119, and this time I want a brother to read that to me. 119. I'll read it. Adam. Hello, brother. Speak it Adam, up. same thing. Show blood in face. Shows blood in the face. Mm. All right, they're saying that. Blush. Like they're he saying. He gets Show Say blood in the face. Uh, blush or right turn there. rosy. He turns rosy. Be dyed Turn or rose. made red. He red. gets dyed and made red. Who the hell is that? <laughs> that is that, that is made that red. is the original Ready. See? Black That's man. What ready means. Red. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the cracking up. Adam is a low man, a mean person, a hypocrite common sort of low degree that turns red, gets flushed, turns rosy, and shows blood in the face. So it's clear to see who Adam is. So when you see who Adam is, you can see who man is. I tell people all the time, I am not man because I know who man is. I can show you a lot of other things, but I don't think this is the time of the place for it. I can show you a lot of other things outside of the Bible to, to show you the, uh, the condition that we find ourselves in today and why this coronavirus is doing what it's doing to us, or uh, should I say to man, because man is the one that... Uh, came out of Shem, Ham, and, and Japheth and created the Gentile nations and so forth and so on. Like I, talk about, like I talked about in some of my previous videos. But the point being is that man is the one that was made by us. So Adam was made by us. There's some talk about, I think they might even mention it in this video uh, with Yaffa, about the pre-Adamites. The pre-Adamites were the ones that inhabited the earth prior to Adam or prior to man. These are the ones that made man. All right, I just want to add this. You know, I've shown this type of presentation to people First hand, let them read it out the Bible and all that type of stuff about the sons of God, you know, plural sons of God. They still want to sit up and tell me some dumb shit about Jesus is the one and only son of God. When the Bible strictly uh, contradicts that. I mean, how stupid are people? That's, that's the reason why we're in the condition we're in today. I should say the condition that y'all are in being sons of man, okay? Now, after you go through this, you still gonna have some of you dumbass niggas still running around talking about I'm man, or I'm only human, and all this kind of shit. When you read exactly what those words mean, you think you can just take a word and make it mean whatever the hell you want it to mean, and, and what the word really means, the vibrations and the energy and all the other stuff that went into the word to make it what it is, you think that's all for nothing. That's in vain. You think that you're right. That's your dumbass ego telling you that. You need to wake up and realize what's going on on these pages because I'm telling you the truth. Now you can go and listen to some of these lying false prophets if you want to. 
Even some of the ones that taught me, they didn't know what the hell they was talking about. You know, Moors want to come up with all kind of shit. Well, you hue man, you know, like the color hue is got to do something with the color of chlorophyll or something like that. All that's bullshit. Man is Adam. Adam is ruddy. He shows blood in his face, just like I showed you. In God's own image, in God's own likeness. And like discussed before, the creator does not have an image. The spirit being doesn't have a fleshly image. An image is something that light has to bounce off of to make a reflection. So, who in here is Adam? They do speak of the pre-Adamites before Adam. That's man. And Adam is a human. The pre-Adamites is not man. She's got her terms mixed up because she doesn't understand. What she understands, she'll tell you. Some things she understands and other things she don't. But this is one of the things that she, that she doesn't understand is the difference between man and the sons of God. Okay, you would have to watch. If, if you haven't watched my previous videos, go check them out and I'll clearly explain that there are sons of God. All right, and these, I believe, are the pre uh, are what people refer to as the pre-Adamites. Human being of the species mankind. So when they're on television now talking about human beings and mankind, you know they're not talking about you. Okay, so this is some of the points that I may I've been making for for over a decade. You know, we we need to understand all of the different species that's on the earth. And you have man, mankind, the sons of God, and human. Now, in the Bible, you have to understand. Go do the research for yourself. You won't find the term human in the Bible at all. You won't find the word human in the Bible. And let me show you why. Now, when you look in Valentine's Law Dictionary, the 1930 edition, and you look up the word human being, it tells you to see monster. Okay? So now, when you look up the definition of monster right here, you see that monster, a human being by birth, but in some part resembling a lower animal. A monster has no inheritable blood and cannot be heir to any land. Man, I hadn't seen that before, but I've been talking about that all the time. Since the name of this video is, Who is Man? And this is a remix. I'm going to add this in here also. You know, you start talking about these terms, like monster. Then the definition just said, human being, a uh, bloodline cannot inherit any land. Then you go and you wonder why, when you call yourself buying a house, you go down to the recorder deeds office or whatever you have in your county and you look up your deed and you'll find that you are listed on there as a tenant. But you've been calling yourself the owner. But you look at your, the recorder deeds recording, you'll find out that you are listed as a tenant. What is a tenant? A tenant is somebody that rents. So that means that you can't inherit any land even by purchase. Well, purchasing is another story that I'll say for, for another date. But nevertheless, the point is that you can't inherit any land because you allow them to call you a human being. Plain and simple. These Europeans can never be heir to any particular land. 
Europeans are ones that don't refer to themselves as being indigenous to anything. All right? So go do your own research. I've covered that. I'm not uh, I'm just telling you matters of fact. I didn't write this stuff. I'm just reading it. I'm just showing you where it is. And I want you to go and look at it for yourself, even though I've I've looked it up here for you. I want you to make sure that I'm not part of some conspiracy. There's no conspiracy. This is all from our creator. You must know the truth. You shall know the truth. And this truth is going to make you free. You know, I know some of y'all got pissed off after some of the things that I said because I'm telling you the truth. And everybody else been lying to you, including your mama and your preacher and your brothers and your sisters and even your daddy. Most of y'all been Christianized to the point where you're stupid. And so since I pointed out to you that you're incorrect in your assumptions because you ain't never went and read nothing and verified it for yourself. And then when somebody like myself read it for you, which it ain't many like me, but nevertheless, when somebody like me read it for you, you still don't believe it. It's right there in black and white. You still want to go away with a false impression about who Jesus is and who you are and run around singing them sweet little songs, I'm only human, and all that kind of bullshit. When a human is specifically talking about a particular kind of people, his name is Adam. Get your shit together. Come and get some of this truth. If you like this video, support me. Smash that like button. Find a way to donate to me, to help me keep these type of things, because it, it costs me time and energy. I can't give you as much as I should be able to give you because I'm too busy trying to get some Federal Reserve notes uh, so that I can let these Europeans extort it from me. Okay, in order to keep a roof over my head and, and some so-called food in my stomach. So I need y'all support. Find a way to donate to me. I'm trying to figure out what that cash app thing is all about. Once I get it, I'm going to need y'all's assistance. Hit the like button. Share these videos with your friends and family. And let's grow this channel together. Peace and love.